but Antonio Conte's side capitulated in the dying stages at Vicarage Road, conceding three in six minutes Eden Hazard looked to have rescued a point for the visitors after Troy Deeney opened the scoring on Monday Daryl Janmet, Roberto Pereira and Gerard Dula who scored in the final few minutes as Watford beat Chelsea When things start to unravel at Chelsea they often do so at an alarming rate and an air of impending doom clung to Antonio Conte as Watford kept scoring Any old defeat would have been bad enough for manager Conte on the back of last week's 3-0 humbling at home to Bournemouth But this was a wretched result, backed by another feeble performance from the Premier League champions They have won only two of the last ten games in all competitions, and their status in the top four has become precarious, a pressure point which never fails to escape owner Roman Abramovich Conte's team were devoid of his trademark intensity at Vicarage Road even before Team Aoi Bakayoko was sent off, leaving them to toil with 10 men for more than an hour They were on their knees by the time Roberto Pereira lashed the fourth pass to Thibaut Courtois in the first minute of added time Bakayoko did not help. He was awful for half an hour and then collected two yellow cards inside five first half minutes Chelsea supporters turned on him when he had the audacity to turn to them and applaud as he departed They gave him short shrift in return, waving goodbye among other hand gestures They gave him short shrift in return, waving goodbye among other hand gestures Watford soon took advantage of the extra man and went ahead with a penalty converted by Troy Deeney Only when Olivier Giroud was thrown on for his debut and Chelsea adopted a more direct and aerial approach did they finally offer any attacking threat 80 minutes had gone by before they mustered a shot on target, a low drive by Cesc Fabregas from the edge of the penalty box which was saved by Oris Discarnazis Then, out of nowhere, Eden Hazard offered Hope. Hazard deployed at centre forward in the absence of Alvaro Morata, and which Giroud not considered ready for 90 minutes, had been quiet, but he summoned a brilliant curling shot to level the game. Almost immediately, however, Chelsea collapsed at the back. Daryl Janmet sailed through the blue shirts to restore Watford's lead. Trading passes with substitute Pereira before beating Courtois with a low shot arrowed into the corner Gerard Dulafu, outstanding on his second start since his move from Barcelona, added a delicious third and Pereira completed the route For Javi Gracia it was a fabulous way to mark his first home game as Watford manager, with the club's biggest win in the Premier League Gracia was afforded a pre-match ripple of applause by the Vicarage Road crowd who know better than to get too carried away Their managers do not tend to hang around for long. The same could be said for the visitors Conte is under pressure, clearly dissatisfied with the squad at his disposal and the business performed in another transfer window and seemingly spoiling for a fight with the Chelsea board At the same time, injuries are stacking up. Andreas Christensen and Ross Barkley are the latest casualties, both absent with hamstring problems, and Marco Solanzo was given the opportunity to rest. Pedro hobbled off in the second half. Murata is still out with a bad back. IT meant right back David Zapacosta was on the left, and David Lewis started his first Premier League game since October. Chelsea suffered without the pace of Christensen against Bournemouth last week and they were again missing their old solidity Dulafu and Richarlison caused problems with their positive running and Bakayoko started the game in careless fashion, not for the first time since his arrival from Monaco More than once he conceded possession in his own half of the pitch, although the second yellow card was certainly unfortunate 
he did not win the ball from Richarlison in midfield, and his tackling technique made it look like a bit of a stamp, but he did not catch the Brazilian striker. Richarlison rolled around clutching his ankle and Mike Dean produced a red card. It was a dreadful 30 minutes from Bakayoko, emblematic of a dreadful first six months in London, but to send him off was harsh, and it left his team in trouble. To get Cesc Fabregas into midfield, Conte replaced William, who had been the only one of his team to summon anything like an effort at goal until that point. Chelsea fans jeered the decision and sang William's song and things got worse for Conte as he fumed on the touchline. There was a lecture from referee Dean as he contested another decision and then the penalty conceded before halftime. Jan Mitt teased a long pass into the channel on the right and Dulafu was far too quick for Kurt Waugh who made the decision to race out of his goal. Dulafu was there first, touched the ball away, and was wiped out by the momentum of the goalkeeper's slide. This time, there was no dispute and Dini stepped forward to give Watford the lead before wheeling away to celebrate with a middle finger salute towards Chelsea fans which could land him in trouble with the FA. Victor Moses launched a threatening counter-attack and stopped page time at the end of the first half which culminated in Pedro firing over. Otherwise, the champions created very little and found it difficult after the interval. Moses and Marvin Ziegler clashed heads as they contested a Zappa Costa cross, but Chelsea rarely made it near to the Watford goal until Fabregas tested Carnesis with 10 minutes to go. Hazard's moment of magic gave them hope of a point, but the hope killed them. Within two minutes they were trailing again, and the champions were relieved when the final whistle put them out of their misery.